Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Look Preparedness. I'm going to be showing you what I'm seeing here in Pittsburgh uh, on the store shelves, Walmart, Aldi. We're going to be going through a, a number of these stores. You're going to see the pictures and see what I'm seeing here. I am seeing some outages. I'm seeing some shortages here. Some other things look like they're a little bit better, but other things are seeing, um, are disappearing. Coffee, we're seeing tea tea. I haven't seen problems in green tea before, but I'm seeing problems in green tea. Um, we're going to get into all these shortages and more. I called out Walmart uh, last week and uh, they were moving around their, their margarine to cover up all the butter section and uh, they've moved it back. So I'm going to show you a picture of before and after of what I was talking about. And uh, I don't know if they responded because of what I said or whether it's because uh, they just finally got the product in that they needed to. But uh, you're going to see a before and after of that and you can see uh, whether I was a ca crying wolf or not. All right, folks, let's jump right into the pictures and see what I'm, I'm seeing. Right, here we are at Walmart. Um, the ice cream section continues to have some pretty gaping holes. Uh, just certain products are not being restocked. Also Cool Whip for generic Cool Whip whipped cream for some reason has just decided to disappear hopefully it comes back before thanksgiving because we need that on our pumpkin pie because pumpkin pie without whipped cream is just what is that i don't know that's just a travesty that's what it is it's a crime peanut butter is is looking like it's kind of coming back um now you'll notice that it's all one kind and uh it's sure taking up the whole shelf space um but they finally decided to fill that gap uh, I think that they maybe just kind of gave up on trying to fill that gap with the appropriate stuff and they just said, let's just put great value peanut butter across here so that we don't have this big gaping uh, hole out there. All right, um, uh, peanut, uh, the jelly section, uh, if you're going to have peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you do need jelly too. Um, where'd all the jelly go? Yikes. Look at that. Just, just lots of jelly missing. And then when we look at the coffee, um, coffee section is pretty devastated. When you look at the generic uh, great value coffee, and then you look at the Folger section here, the Maxwell House looks a little bit better over there, but the Folger section pretty decimated as well. That's all the red canisters ahead of you. And then this whole center uh, section there, that's green tea. That has a big hole there. Now the name brand stuff, you can get that, but uh, when you're looking at generics, there isn't that. Um, tea is not really supposed to be in shortage at this point. Um, I haven't really delved into looking through all the uh, the what's and why's out there, but uh, I will be looking at that in the coming days to see uh, if there's a lot of indications out there uh, in the third world, particularly where tea comes from. A lot of tea comes from India, but uh, we'll see what's going on with that. Tomato shortage, of course. Um, so ketchups are in short supply, a lot of holes in ketchup. Rice continues to be an issue and beans are starting to deplete as well, but particularly it's rice right now. There is an issue with rice harvest out there that should not cause a full blown shortage over the next short bit because the rice harvest is coming in as it's processed. We should be good through um, a, a part of this year until that rice harvest um, runs out, unless we get some sort of panic run. Vinegar continues to be issues here. Um, we've seen issues with the gallons of white vinegar and uh, apple cider vinegar, just vinegars across the board. I know a lot of people keep saying that it's because of canning. I think that there's a lot more missing than pe some people messing with canning. Mayonnaise continues to be an issue here, and of course that impacts the some of the salad dressings as well. I'm not sure if that has to do with the eggs, but um, I think a lot of those mayonnaise products nowadays don't actually have any eggs in them, but hey, uh, that's just my thoughts on that. Uh, Velveeta mac and cheese, that whole shelf right there is just empty of Velveeta mac and cheese. Uh, just they don't have it. They just haven't gotten it in. And then we're seeing that it's just production facilities are apparently just falling behind and certain products just aren't being restocked. It's, it's not like they're sort of being restocked. It's like they're just not being restocked. And we're seeing that in the beans section as well. Certain kinds of beans are kind of disappearing. And it's not like there's one or two cans left. It's not like 
Uh, it's just they didn't restock this for whatever reason. Uh, canned chicken continues to be very, very sparse. Last week, they had it all piled up in one little pile in the center there. Uh, this week, they did decide to spread it all out so that it looks uh, like more than it really is. But, uh, but what you can see there is that's really spread out. And also, the, um, the four packs of chicken were basically the whole bottom shelf, and now it's like four packs plus... Uh, uh, the uh, two packs down there uh, so you can just see that they're spreading out the chicken to kind of cover that hole but it's very evident that it's there prices continue to spiral upward on all meats and we continue to see more varieties of new meat products that we haven't seen before um, because the mainline products are actually very very sparse look how much spam there is uh, when you look at uh, name brand spam it's uh you know, plain original spam, it's not very much. When you look at other products, um, we're just seeing not all that much, even uh, the Vienna sausages. When you took a look at small packets of ramen noodles, uh, they're not being able to restock. I mean, I don't know why they can't just crack open one of those. I, I know why they can't crack up one of the big ones and make a little uh, individual one because they're not labeled that way. But, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's, why can't they restock the individual sell, uh, serve ramen noodles? That, that seems crazy when they have all the big boxes of them. But they're having issues with other pastas as well. There's a lot of varieties of pasta that they cannot restock. Also, name brand Barilla uh, is not being restocked. Great value is a little better restocked, but it's only certain varieties that they have that. Uh, as we used to joke about it, that the macaroni is the cockroach of the uh, the pasta world. Um, you know, if you if you only find one kind of pasta, it's definitely going to be elbows because that's what's the most popular brand, uh, the most popular kind in the United States. So whenever they have a shortage, it's just like you just start seeing those elbows getting spread out over the whole front. Other uh, Tomato uh, products having issues. Um, we haven't seen that kick into high gear yet, but we will uh, in the near future, I believe, uh, from what we're hearing coming out of California on the uh, devastating tomato harvest out there. 95% of our tomatoes come from California that go into cans and jars. So that harvest is going to dictate uh, what it looks like for canned and jarred tomatoes across the country. Domino sugar is actually sugar cane, whereas the great value sugar is made from beet sugar. Um, and uh, so we're not having as much of an issue with the beet sugar, but we are having more and more of an issue with the cane sugar. A lot of that comes from Brazil and India, and India has the export ban on sugar. And uh, Brazil also has an export ban on, or had an export ban on sugar. I believe they've, they've lifted it. Um, but they are also still uh, rationing how much can be sold out of the country. Uh, that's because they're using a lot of that for ethanol because of the high oil prices. All-purpose flour, it's looking not too, too bad, but I wanted to show that to you so you could see for it yourself. Um, but we are seeing canola oil having issues and some corn oil issues. Um, those seem to be cropping back up. Over the last couple of weeks, you know, vegetable oils didn't look too bad, but they are starting to have issues once again. Um, but it looks like soybean oil is still doing pretty good, uh, though I know some of you are like, um, that's like anathema to you. Also, we're having some issues once again with, uh, with the Crisco's um, generic and... Uh, in the refrigerated section, some of the cheeses are having issues. I don't know if those are just imported cheese. Um, I just snapped a picture of it. Um, if I see that going forward some more, I'll look into more whether it's imported cheese. Uh, if that's the case, it makes sense that maybe Europe is having issues with exporting uh, cheeses. Um, so any of the cheap exports might, uh, might be having an issue there. Eggs. Um, having some holes, some issues it looks like, but not not critical. There's still plenty of uh, a variety there for different sizes and grades of eggs. But milk continues to have a lot of holes and certain varieties are missing. 
Um, th- chocolate milk, for some reason, still seems to be having a, a relatively big issue here in Pennsylvania. I don't quite understand why they can't just mix chocolate with uh, <laughs> with milk and be okay with it. But uh, all right, so here's our butter section, butter and margarine section. As you can see, the cream cheese section doesn't look too, too bad, even though they shrunk the uh, tubs of cream cheese pretty significantly. They're at least keeping the shrunk down section relatively well stocked. But this section right here in the middle here, let's just zoom in on there. Um, this is what it looked like this week. Now notice where that um, the imperial... Uh, margarine is that's the cheapest of the cheap stuff um that is just like soybean oil that's been homogenized into uh into a shape let me show you what it looked like last week okay see how the imperial <laughs> was just like spread out over the whole shelf you know they're like oh well they don't they don't fill shelf holes or anything like that they're not allowed to do that friends they did it that's what they did <laughs> you can um, here, the Imperial is four blocks wide. Here, uh, in some places, the uh, Imperial is seven blocks wide. <laughs> okay. Um, here, there's two shelves of Imperial. Here, there are three shelves of Imperial. And then basically, if you look at the... Um, the margarines there next to them, those are still like vegetable oils and stuff like that. They didn't have any butter. That's what happened. They didn't have any butter. They just they spread out the Imperials and then they moved all of the uh, margarines down in the hopes that no one would notice that they ran out of butter. It, it confused me, that's for sure. Um, but uh, I'm seeing it now. Um, that's, that's what happened. Last week they ran out of butter. This week they have butter back on the shelf. So um, they have more margarines than they used to, but uh, they at least have some butter options that are animal based as opposed to just uh, plant based all right uh, speaking of uh, animal based uh, the heavy creams are still having issues as you can see a lot of holes there for heavy creams and of course coffee creamers that actually have cream in them is uh, struggling paper products they've been looking like this for a long time in fact this is a bit this is better than what they looked like last fall but uh, you know they've had a year to make paper plates you just think that they would actually have enough paper plates but uh, cat food dry cat food is is still an issue here canned cat food is still obviously an issue if you have cats you know what i'm talking about if you don't have cats like me um, this isn't kind of our day-to-day -day life but um, i wasn't able to get the other cabinets next to me but uh, uh, potatoes frozen potatoes were kind of decimated here at my uh, at my walmart so uh, that's that's not looking good over at Aldi uh, some of the milk products also having issues um, the individual packets of oatmeal still having issues uh, this has been like three weeks three four weeks where they haven't had any of those individual packs of oatmeal um, now I don't really eat that stuff I don't really eat oatmeal much at all period but uh, those big tubes of oatmeal are actually pretty good for uh, stocking up for long term I, I get those into a uh, vacuum bag and and get them sealed up like that uh, quick oats are good for that uh, but uh, some of the pastas and the instant mashed potatoes uh, having gaps some of the baking products uh, particularly like the those are like the premixes for uh, pound cake so it's basically flour mixed with a few other little things and they sell it at a premium but they can't seem to make it because uh, they're missing some kind of product in there and that's it they're, they miss one component and they have to stop the production line for a whole product and that's what we're seeing constantly happening that the production lines have to stop because a machine breaks or because uh, one of the, the ingredients is missing and they're not allowed to just change it without the USDA's um, approval to change the formulation of their product um, this is like the fourth week where corned beef hash has been missing at Aldi and powdered sugar there's a lot less of it there but it still is there the um, the beet sugar at Aldi uh, and flour they, they had it in stock so uh, it was there bacon they still have, um, have a pretty big hole there that has not been filled over the last number of weeks of bacon 
and they had a number of coolers that were just empty. So um, that's kind of what I'm seeing here in Pittsburgh. Please do let me know what you're seeing out there so that other people can see. Uh, make sure you use the word update in the uh, in your your comment and also uh, try to put some sort of geographical location even if it's somewhat vague just so people kind of know whereabouts you're talking about all right folks if you like this video there's another video that's popping up on the screen that you can go see me over there otherwise i will see you later steve poplar out